Hey guys, back to a new video. Today we are with a new Seat Ibiza Hola FR 2022 version facelift. And in this video, it's all about driving, guys. We will drive this new Ibiza and I will give you my feedback. How is the steering? How is the direction? The sound insulation, the comfort, the visibility, suspension, everything about that you will find out in this video. But before we go forward, just don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see the latest cars that come on the market. If you want to see the same car full review full technical data interior exterior material quality everything i have a separate video on my channel so check that out if it's not already there just click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out and before we go forward let me give you some technical data about the car so you will know which version we will drive today so uh, as i said before the fr version come with a one liter petrol engine this is eco tsi with three cylinders in line 110 horsepower 200 newton meters it's a front wheel drive and it comes connected with a seven speed automatic transmission dual clutch this is classic for for volkswagen group it's a really good one and it works really well for many years now going forward top speed of the car 195 km per hour 0 to 110 seconds also the car come with ventilated brake this on the front brake this on the rear we have we, on this version 18 inch rims they are optional but they look phenomenal the turning radius of the car 10.6 meters also the car come with independent mcpherson suspension on the front and semi-independent rear suspensions yeah it's pretty good to be honest now let's go to the price guys let's don't forget that i'm right here in switzerland in zurich at tehash willy i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car check them out uh, they have great price and also great discounts you can see here we have a 3350 francs discount the basis price is 30250 francs but if you add the color for example here 600 if you add all these options the price will go higher because the car come with digital cockpit it comes with this glass roof 950 francs but all about that these details you find it in the other video in the review video check it out guys probably it's already on my channel uh, and the final price will be 31,170 francs i will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea with these discounts so keep in mind you have also this discount included in this price so it's a good price for what this new Ibiza offer. The seats are leather and here you have some kind of nice kind of Alcantara. Not sure if it's Alcantara, but it feels like Alcantara. Very good quality also on the roof, the steering wheel, the cockpit, the climatic system. You have so many features that you can see in the other video. This video, it's all about driving, so I don't want to make the video too long. Let's start driving the car, guys, and in the end, uh, we will make the conclusion. So, yeah let's do it all right guys let's drive it here's the key by the way it's the same simple key as volkswagen group use it for the last years lock and unlock what you can do with the key of course the car come with keyless entry so all you can do is put your finger here to lock it and put your hand put your hands here to unlock it let me try again just like that anyway anyway it's working i don't know sometimes it's work sometimes not before it was working i will leave the key right here going inside the car normal pedals no aluminum pedals but we have lovely lovely leather seats i love those seats guys the comfort on those seats they are big they are bright they are super super comfortable and i like that and also we have this side support uh, also we have soft material here the steering wheel it's one of my favorite this fr steering wheel from from seat it's it's lovely you have a great grip great quality and also you have physical button here to change different function for example the cruise control is here and here is the the controllers for the cockpit press the brake start engine button is here you start the engine really fast and nice and then here we have driving modes you can see the mode here and you can change the driving modes we have manual handbrake like a proper sporty car uh, manual handbrakes two cup holders here we have two usb ports you can charge your phone wireless we have also climatic system right here dual zone climatic system and yeah we have the digital cockpit guys that you have to pay extra i think 450 francs it's totally deserved the money it's wonderful i mean you can customize in so many ways you can see the classic way you can see all the map you can see uh just like that this is my favorite view to be honest i, I really like it and of course as i said you have like three different driving modes eco normal and sport mode and also you can individualize the way you want it so if you go to individual uh, individual and then you go to steering normal sport you can go to engine sport eco ac so you can change how you want it we will drive first time in eco mode and then we will see as we go i will give you my feedback 
You can adjust the steering wheel up, down, forward, backward manually from behind there. The visibility is great. Also, I notice in the mirrors, great visibility, nothing to say. Also on the side, you can adjust the mirrors uh, electrically from the interior. Let me put the seat belt and then we will start driving. Here in the front, we have the navigation. We can leave the navigation just like that. Uh, also, if you want to find out more information about this new multimedia system and everything about the car, I have a separate video, the full review let down the handbrake put it in drive and then let's drive guys also the car come also with s mode sport mode if you go like this down one time you go directly in sport mode you don't have to change the different driving mode if you want to go back to echo you go like this you go back to echo so that's something to keep in mind uh, what i notice is that the car doesn't come with auto hold so if you want to hold the vehicle um, you have to press the brake all the time, but it has heel assist. Heel assist is different from auto hold. Heel assist, when you are uphill, it will help you a few seconds. It will hold the car and then you can accelerate. It will not go backwards. Now, the turning radius, 10.6 meter, if I remember well. Um, we will try it right here. And the car is relatively small. It's very small. And you can see you can turn it in small spaces. Um, another thing that I notice is that um, the car is quite light and also the steering wheel is very light you can control it very simple and that's something that I like very much it's, it's relatively easy to control it it's easy to park it if you want to park it right here for example you just go like this and then go in reverse the car come with a reverse camera and the camera resolution is relatively good and look how easy it is to park it you see everything there also the car come with parking sensors so you can park it super nice now let's drive the car guys let's go on the street a little bit um yeah i like it uh until now i like it i like how it feels it feels um quite compact i should say really compact the pedals feel fine in this price range around 32 33 thousand dollars i don't know how many cars you can buy uh, and with this kind of technology and uh, comfort and yeah we have a lot of safety features as well it comes with lane assist adaptive cruise control it's, it's quite nice and also um, the cabin here it feels quite premium inside you can hear so much noise from the exterior and this is a good thing I wish although the car will come with an electric handbrake and auto hold here instead of this handbrake but I know some people really like the handbrake and I guess it's it's fine but for me personally um, I like the electronic handbrake I like very much the visibility from the driver point of view very good visibility uh, on the cockpit on the multimedia you have great visibility The transmission is also good right now in eco mode it will change the gears a little bit faster yeah by the way almost let me set up the navigation already from now so it will know to come back then good uh, you can see also on the cockpit the navigation I like the way uh, it shows you there it's really clear the cockpit it's one of the best and for only 500 450 francs it's it's a bless to have it good visibility in the mirrors the brakes the car it's it's almost brand new so the brakes you can hear the brakes now because of the snow it was rainy days um, this period and that's why you can hear them but they will stop squir squirking after a while Over the bumps um, in the front, independent suspension, McPherson on the rear, semi independent. Suspension are quite good, but I can hear a little bit of road noise right now. We have 18 inch rims, the rubber is quite small, and we have beautiful rims, but 
um, until now it seems to be a little bit noisier I think the 17 inch rims will be much nicer much smoother I should say oh let me turn on the climatic system yes this is good I don't want that the windows to get foggy anyway it feels overall it feels really good also the stability it's nice it feels quite sporty more sporty than comfort I should say to be honest um, it feels quite close to the ground quite like sticking to the ground and that's a good thing I like that so for those of you that are into sporty cars uh, the suspension and stability on the ground it feels really really uh, close to the ground and also it feels quite light the car it feels super light uh, while you're driving also you have lane assist here travel assist you can you can activate the travel assist I think the car come with the newest is travel assist guys um, and this travel assist in my opinion it's really good I tested before on other Volkswagen cars and it was so good I mean it stays so good between the lanes um, and was so so precise and I, I love that I really love that you should try it guys the pedals feel quite quite good smooth nice you can hear the the brakes squirking no more yeah they were a little bit in the beginning but now it's it's much better if you want to change the driving modes you can do it from here from the button if you go to normal mode let's see in normal mode yeah the steering wheel seems to be very similar in normal mode not big difference uh, but the acceleration it's a little bit more yeah it's not so aggressive but the, the gearbox is changing the gears a little bit faster just a little bit they just set up the, the gearbox a little bit different Ventilated brake disc on the front, brake disc on the rear. If we change the mode, let's go to sport mode. Oh yeah, a little bit more fun to drive in sport mode. Nice so compact it's easy to drive it's light it's a light 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 it feels very light to driving it um, and it's perfect for the city I think it's just perfect and also it's good uh, when you go uh, out of the city you can go also uh, on the highway without any problem and I like the, the steering wheel it's, it's super super premium I love it I love the grip and I like also the way it looks It's not so explosive so don't expect that uh, to have crazy power or crazy acceleration because it's relatively a small engine three cylinders only 110 horsepower it's it's a daily driver uh, that looks sporty and yeah, I don't know the steering wheel it's very similar in all the driving modes um, didn't notice any big difference I can say that the car it's super super sporty or yeah it's, it's more like a daily driver with a nice look yeah the steering wheel maybe it's not so not so comfortable in sport mode let's go to normal mode again I just want to try that I'm really curious I'm really curious if it's a difference if you really feel a difference but I don't think so I don't think so it feels quite similar it 
feels quite quite similar so no big difference in in, in, diff in steering uh, when you change the driving modes just a little bit of difference over the bumps here are a few huge bumps and he's doing fine he's doing fine I like that it feels really close to the road it's more like in in the sporty direction than in comfort direction like some cars sometimes you feel like super comfortable it feels like you're kind of floating but this one uh, it feels really really close to the road you can see right now you still have that power when you need to go in you you can go in without any problem and right now we are in normal mode um, the transmission it's relatively good um, from 1 to 10 I will give it an 8 to transmission um, I like it overall it's a good car it's it's a reliable car and those uh, mechanical parts that come from Volkswagen are reliable they are tested for for many years now and they are quite reliable I like also the driving position it's a good visibility and also it it doesn't feel low on the ground that's surprising and the seats I adjusted all the way down and it feels to stay a little bit higher and I don't know why why it feels like I'm, I'm higher on the on the seat it's a little bit strange but I like it to be honest And it's silent inside. Another thing that worth mention, it's, it's that the car is silent. You can hear so much noise from the exterior. But right now on this kind of road, right here, the road is not so good, and you can hear a little bit of noise from the from the tires. So when the roads are good, it's fine. But right now here, some road noise come inside the, the cabin, so that you can notice immediately. I think if we change the tires and the rims a little bit smaller will be better um, but other than that nothing to say I like the way it stays on the on the road it stays super good lovely feeling yeah as I said no auto hold you have to hold the, the, the foot on the brake comes with heel assist but not auto hold it's a nice climatic system it's nice nice dashboard you have some ambient light here in the doors as well so the car it's it's overall it's a lovely car to be honest um, with a lot of great features also a lot of space there you have this glass roof beautiful up here um, you have the multimedia system the cockpit nice uh, the seats are super premium a lot of premium features inside here like steering wheel seats are premium the cockpit and the navigation I feel like it's premium um, and the price guys we have to think about the price um, with what car I compare it you can compare it with a Mercedes or a Porsche or whatever that's double the price I compare it with the same class in the same price and I have to say it's a good car for this money for for 30,000 around 30,000 uh, dollars with all these options it's, it's super good and also it's beautiful from outside let's don't forget the LED lights we have one of the best LED lights the, he the, the uh, headlights the LED on the rear um, the nice design it's, it's beautiful also the car it, it looks nice from the from the exterior we can say that it's a it's an ugly car because it's beautiful and it's so easy to see on the cockpit the, the the navigation it's it's positioned it really well even the multimedia he says so you have a great visibility you just have to take your eyes for a few seconds and you you know immediately where you should go where you have to go and that's really good
it's it's great it's really really good car and it's in terms of driving it's very similar with Volkswagen Polo it has the same mechanics same suspension same engine same uh, transmission it's only the design that it's different and now it's it's about personal preference if you have to choose between Volkswagen Polo and a new Seat Ibiza it's really hard to choose one because they are a good boat and it's just about a personal preference maybe about price see which one has better price which one where you go we get a better offer and then you you go for it but uh, the difference between them it's 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 not that big so Climatic system work fine, you have physical button, nothing to complain here. It's super easy to, to change them and adjust it. The stalks, ah, oh, but the steering wheel, it's lovely. You have pedals here to change the gear manual if you want to. Even this option, you have it. And also, both come with this new travel assist from Volkswagen. Yeah, you can see it's doing great over the bumps. The travel assist, once you set it, guys, disactivate it. Once you set the travel assist and the lane assist, um, the car will do the job for you you just set the speed and yeah it will stay between the lanes and I don't know here if it's working but on the highway I just tested before and it's worked really good also you can see it's doing a good job relatively also here 50 let's see here I tested before on some streets where we have very good lanes uh, color it and it was perfect and look at this even here it says put your hands on the steering wheel yeah, it's working good it's it's one of the best I tell you I tested before on other uh, Volkswagen group cars and it's this new travel assist it's, it's wonderful on the highway it's just perfect but always keep your hand on the steering wheel I keep saying that all the time because it's 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 better don't trust any autopilot even if you drive a Tesla it's really uh, dangerous the visibility in this mirror it's more than perfect you can see in the back which cars come um, those mirrors on the side are a little bit smaller and they have a strange design uh, but you still have relatively good visibility to there as well so yeah we'll have to park the car there let's park the car guys and end up the video I think I should leave it here for a while also we have uh, parking sensors in the front on the rear manual handbrake stop the engine and then you can see also um, the consumption how many kilometer we did and yeah overall information on the screen so that was the video that was the test drive guys i hope you get some useful information from here uh if i miss something just ask me down below wherever you want uh, to know about the car uh overall it's a good car with a good price a good quality for the price i should say what you pay and what you get it's somehow um equal and good anyway my rating from 1 to 10 uh, will be 9.7 this is my rating for the new Seat Ibiza it's a good car at a good price I like some premium features here like the seats are super comfy I can drive a million miles I'm sure I will never have back pain uh, I like the glass roof I like the space in the back the multimedia and the cockpit and the steering wheel are one of my favorite stuff the exterior I, I love the LED lights and the design uh, look nice much better than the previous version and yeah overall it's it's nice it's a nice car good guys that was the video thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe if you want to see the full review with the same car i have a separate video on my channel check it out don't forget to check out Tehash Willy in Zurich if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland you can tell them you see my videos you come from me you will get a nice discount and also thank you for watching stay safe and see you next time bye guys